Hello YouTube, YouTubers, um, Final Community, how's it going? So this is Wax Diabolic 7, um, I finally went out today for about an hour and got my fix um, as far as um, picking up some records and I'm going out tomorrow too because it has been so long since I've actually bought records. Um, but today I went to a store I hadn't been to in a while, um, Second Avenue Records here in Portland which is one of my favorites. Um, well, I, I, I pretty much, I love the fact that I have so many options, but yeah, I like going there because it's, it's one of those stores that's not very organized, I, and sometimes I like that, you know. I mean, things are alphabetical, but it just looks like a, like a tornado just went through there, you know. It's just cool to me, I don't know. Maybe I'm a hoarder. But, uh, so I picked up some records. Haven't really had a chance to listen to them. I, um, the ones that had download cards, I've downloaded them already, and I'll be putting that music. You'll be hearing it. Um, but the first one didn't have a download card. Uh, but I, this was an artist I had been lacking in my collection, and I need to remedy that real quick because I do love this artist music um, from beginning to end. Um, and Fat Possum has reissued some of the records and um, I picked this one up because I actually listened to this CD over at a friend's house about a month ago. There are more songs on the CD, but you know how I roll. Um, and that artist is Mark Bolin and T-Rex. And this is um, Fine Alloy and The Hidden Riders of Tomorrow. Um, I just love this cover. I mean, what a great sort of photograph. Here's the back. A lot of good songs on here. Um, and here's the gatefold. A lot of good casual photographs, I assume, in the studio. Um, this record sounds like what he was on, which um, was supposedly um, champagne and cocaine. So, yeah, that's what this record sounds like. Um, it's, it's later T-Rex, so it's like, you know, it's really got a more of a dancey disco feel to it. But, um, I still love it. I mean, it, this guy can do no wrong in my eyes. And I'm so glad I got it. 180 gram for the price that I paid. It's like, yes! Yes, please. I know I need to get a uh, slider, electric warrior, but, you know, I, I don't do anything in order. Um, this next artist is, um, I think some of them are from New Zealand, and um, was recommended by uh, Waikiki Re Records. But um, I picked it up, and I, I, it's actually kind of a fun record. I, I really enjoyed. This is um, Unknown Mortal Orchestra, um, and it's got a couple members, former members of the Mint Chicks, who kind of made a bit of a splash a couple years back. But this is their record. Um, it's also on Fat Possum um, from this year, and it, yeah, it's really fun. A, a real reverby and a lot of bounciness to it. Um, I, I've only given it a cursory listen, but you'll be hearing it. Um, I really like the first track, for funny for friends. <laughs> but yeah, um, great, great record. Indie pop, I guess you'd call it. Um, up next, I picked up this awesome um, stoner rock, I guess you'd call it. Um, this is Mamatus. This is their first record. I have their other record, uh, The Coast Explodes, but this is the first one they put out, 2005. Um, been looking for this for a while, and just uh, none of the stores really had it. And I, I, I seem to remember seeing it at uh, Second Avenue, and it was there at a really good price. So I picked it up, and it's awesome. Very good record. Uh. Vinyl Disorder, uh, Records Glasgow, and The Real Metal Lord. I credit all those guys, uh, Joe, Joe Spencer as well, um, with like 
rekindling my, my love of punk rock. And this is, you know, I had this on tape, dub tape, like way back when, and it might, it might have a, like a, you know, like a CDR of it, but I, you know, I didn't have any vinyl of this band except for one single, which is off of this album. Uh, that's The Dead Kennedys, uh, Plastic Surgery Disasters. This is probably my favorite album of theirs. Um, Government Flu's on here, which is an awesome song. Um, Buzz Bomb. I Am The Owl. Oh, I love I Am The Owl. Yeah. But yeah, Jello, East Bay Ray, um, Klaus Floride, and uh, D.H. Peligro. Um, really putting it down on here, man. I love this this record. This band is so important. I If you guys don't have any Dead Kennedys, you should be shot in your face. I'm just saying. Not seriously. If you're not into punk, who am I to judge? But yeah, it's a good record. Even if you don't like punk, there's some good surf elements in that shit. So. Um, up next, um, I have the other two uh, releases from this band, and I saw this. I forgot it was released this year, and I'm so excited. Um, this is actually, they're, they're really going places now. This is Ancestors, and this is their new EP, Invisible White. And it is, in fact, on um, White Vinyl. <laughs> That's mighty white of them. Um, yeah, man, Ancestors. They are they're one of those bands that you can you can hear the evolution. You know, um, you can hear where they, where they're kind of going, and I like it. Um, yeah, I can't wait till their next um, you know, their next album. So this is this will tie me over until then. And then finally, uh, big shout out um, to Sonic Mainliner Andreas, who um, introduced me to this band. And I bought one of their EPs, and I found another one today. Um, this is a collection of studio rarities. Um, and that band is White Hills. And Stolen Stars Left for No One is what the uh, EP is called. It's on Thrill Jockey from 2010. And it's kind of like bootleg style. Like this, it's just this like fold over deal, and then the outer sleeve itself is white. And the label is white. So. Um, I'm really, yeah, I haven't had a chance to listen to it yet, but I'm really excited to listen to this. I, I'm, and I, I had a band earlier this year that I got turned on to just from poking around the internet, but, um, Far Flung. This band is taking that band's place. This, this band is fantastic. I, I really like listening to this kind of stuff. And between this and Ancestors and Mammatus, I mean, all these records, all these records, this is the kind of music I want to play. This is the kind of music, I mean, even though it's like it's been done, I don't care, it's fun to listen to. And it's fun to uh, think about, you know, like get influence from or whatever. Um, but yeah, so that's it. Lark's Diabolique, number seven. And coming up next, another video. See you guys in a bit. Love you.